Sharvan, uh, you're going to be presenting our, our activity too. My name is Thais. My name is Julia. And I'm Liana. So the superposition theorem is the derived result of the superposition principle suited to the network analysis of the electrical circuits. The superposition theorem states that for a linear system, the response in any branch of bilateral linear circuit having more than one independent source equals the algebraic sum of the responses caused by each independent source, acting alone, where all the other independent sources are replaced by their internal independence. Now Leon is going to be presenting our first circuit. Can demonstrate superposition? Well, first, let's go back to what the superposition principle states, which is that um, the voltages slash currents running through a circuit is the sum of the individual voltage slash current sources. So we move on to the next slide. We see a table at the bottom left, as well as the two circuits on the right-hand side, which demonstrate this relationship. For example, when only V1 is in the circuit, probe 1, which is the green VA probe, measures 5 volts, whereas the probe in the V2 circuit measures 0 volts. Thus, 5 plus 0 equals 5 volts, which is the measurement on the original circuit. Now, looking at the same probe, we see that it measures negative 506.33 milliampers in the V1 circuit, and 265.82 milliampers in the V2 circuit, which add up to negative 240.51 milliampers in the original circuit. By looking at this measurement table, we can thereby conclude that the original circuit does indeed demonstrate superposition. Secret two, Thevenin's theorem is stated that any linear sequence that has a current and voltage source can be transformed to a single equivalent voltage source in series with one equivalent resistance across its terminal. And this can be dependent or independent source. This method is used in order to simplify circuits and make them easier to analyze. There are three possible cases. The first case would be all independent source. The second one would be both independent and dependent source. And the case three would be all dependent sources. Now Julie is going to be explaining uh, our second circuit. Since we have only one voltage source, that will this example is just an example of case one, which is the independent source. On the left of our screen is the original circuit, the more complex one with two resistors. And on the right is the Thevian's theorem model, which only has one resistor and it is in parallel with the voltage source. In order to get the resistance of the resistor in the second um, circuit, you have to use the equation below which is R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That's how I got the 93.2 ohms in the second source, in the second resistor, I'm sorry. And that is the Thevian's theorem. It's just the simplified version of the original circuit. 